All right, guys, well, this is my new ultralight setup. This is a, a lot of new gear we'll be running next season. Uh, it's February now, getting close to the end of it. Uh, spent pretty much the whole winter uh, working, not getting out as much as I want to, so I saved up a little bit of money, and, well, I was able to get some gear this winter. So let's go through it. We're going to start with the, the big three, as everybody calls it. Right over here, we got the pack. This is the... ULA Ohm 2.0 from uh, ULAEquipment.com. It's uh, this pack actually rides very nicely, super comfortable, really light. Uh, I really can't wait to hit the trails on that. I've gotten it out a little bit here and there. It it does feel wonderful. So really excited about that new pack. We're gonna drop over here to the sleep system. What we got here is the climate uh, climate stat. Uh, yeah, Climate Static V sleeping pad is about 18 ounces. Uh, regular length sleeping pad. Very comfortable. It's about two and a half inches thick. Very nice. I uh, had a couple nights on that and it, it really is nice. Over here we got the Kelty. I'm not exactly sure uh, what brand name it is, but this is a 40 degree down sleeping bag made by Kelty. Uh, really doesn't weigh much at all. I don't have a scale, so I can't really weigh a lot of my gear at all. So we'll just carry on. Uh, this is the SOL Escape Bivy. Now I've actually used this alone in the middle of the summertime, and I was able to stay warm all night. Uh, this thing only weighs about eight ounces just by itself, but I can definitely get an extra five degrees or so out of my sleeping bag if I put this over it. Uh, so that would be the sleep system. We're gonna move over here two my favorite is the shelter system here we got the grand trunk hammock uh, this hammock doesn't come with a suspension or at least well I bought it it didn't come with suspension so I bought the uh, went to jacksarbetter.com I got their whoopee sling full suspension kit that was about six ounces the hammock itself I think was about 10 ounces so we got about a pound right there for the full hammock and suspension everything and right here is my favorite piece hammockgear.com this is the four door Cuban fiber tarp it's got an 11 foot ridge line before guy lines it comes in at six and a half ounces with stuff sack so I mean that is it's it's just insanely light uh, it's big I did set it up. I know I'm doing this in my living room right now, but I'm, I uh, tried to film uh, a video of uh, my gear setup, setting it all up in the woods actually, but it was on such a cold day and my inexperience with uh, filming in very cold weather, all my batteries died very quickly. So I'm going to put, I'll, I'll show you guys that all set up. I'll cut to that now. Alright, well here it is. A, uh, we're going to take a closer look at it. I didn't tie off the uh, doors. I kind of forgot. Uh, I only brought up. I only brought four uh, tent stakes. So I'll just fold them back like that for now. But got them all staked out. It's all camouflaged. You can kind of see my hammock in there already. It is amazing. And my batteries are getting destroyed by this cold. So it's probably going to be a short film. That was pretty cool, right? That thing was awesome. I really do like the uh, the uh, the tarp. It's definitely going to be a crucial piece of gear. Let's move on to a couple of my other stuff. This is not going to be in any certain order, so it's going to be a little chaotic. All right, here we have the cook kit. Start off with the Snow Peak Titanium Spork. This is actually my very first piece of titanium gear. Yep, moving up in the world. So, yeah, that's my spork. I might actually change this out for one of the long handle spoons. That's still a little short for those uh, dehydrated meal bags. But let's carry on. Right here we have the Snow Peak 700 titanium pot. And everything I need inside. So we're going to open that up, lay it out, and I'll show you what that is. Okay, here we go. 
right inside we'll just pull out this this whole thing right inside of here I actually have a little measuring cup I got from a different mess kit so I can measure out uh, exactly how much water I need doesn't really weigh anything there's the uh, snow peak titanium 700 handles fold out it's got the measures measuring thing on the side uh, I've used it a little bit as a little test I actually really like it so it's a little heavier than my progresso soup can thing but this is just sweet come on so we'll move on from that into this little cup and this is just a uh, bandana enough said about that I just put it inside the pot to keep everything from rattling around this is a tomato soup can with a homemade koozie around the outside dump out everything on the inside stove is stuck in the cup so hold on all right there we go this is a this is a bud light can aluminum bud light can uh, stove this is another one of those items that might change in the uh, in the end when I actually finally get out I just need to do a little more testing and thorough hiking uh, but this is really just one of my go-to stoves I just know it's gonna work every time Bic lighter uh, Bic lighter enough said don't get anything else but a Bic lighter that's your best friend uh, some tin foil you know that's self-explanatory and some all-purpose soap you can uh, wash your pots yourself wash anything you want with this so I, I uh, throw that in there I might actually squeeze half that out when I go hiking just to save a little bit more weight so that's pretty much the uh, cook kit for you and we will move on to the next uh, next stuff here all right now for lighting I got the black diamond storm headlamp it's a hundred luma high low beam and red setting uh, it's super bright tested it out a little bit here and there I like it I think it's uh, another one of those new things I have right here so I mean I really like this a lot headlamp enough said this because I always do like to have a handheld uh, handheld flashlight this is a little different this thing weighs in at about four ounces so I got it's nice and bright as you see it's a handheld flashlight but it also turns into a lantern how cool is that boom see really nice and it actually has a little little ring I can hook like a an S beater in there and hang it from my ridge line in my hammock so I have plenty of light uh, at night so that's another good thing right here not heavy couple purposes like it and next we have water we'll start with the filter the Sawyer squeeze now this is the uh, this is the original I actually just got it before they came out with the Sawyer squeeze mini so I like this thing a lot it's uh, it's gonna stay with me so I'm not really gonna worry about what an ounce and a half difference this right here is just so you can back flush it uh, some of those longer hikes you're definitely going to need to bring this overnight you'll probably be fine but I'm planning on a little bit more than that so back flush it with this uh, the two bags it comes well it comes with three bags but I only bring two of them I got the two liter bag the one liter bag now those are just two dirty water storages and those will go there but uh fresh water storage I just bring one disposable water bottle this is a 750 milliliter bottle disposable you know lightweight nothing special that's for my clean water so that will cover the water filtration next up we got all the random stuff start over here I do suffer from knee and ankle problems let's just say uh, the life of thrill seeking has finally caught up to me so knees ankles not doing so well anymore so I have a athletic 
knee brace, and then I bring an ace bandage, a uh, three inch ace bandage, you know, if I need to wrap my ankle or just a little extra support on the knee. Self explanatory, get that out of here. Here is a pair of waterproof, uh, waterproof gloves. You know, enough said about that, you really, you know, lightweight, waterproof, not that warm, but get the job done. Boom. This is pack cover. So I don't want my stuff getting all wet. Uh, first aid kit, Tums, Band-Aids, etc. Blister kit. You know, we all have them. Right over here, this is usually my food storage bag. I can easily put three days worth of food in here. And it's bright yellow, so when I hang it up, I mean it's bright orange, so when I hang it up, it's, uh, you know, I'm not going to lose it. That would be uh, kind of crappy, wouldn't it? So, that's enough said. Uh, paracord. Again, tying up a bear bag, I bring about 30 feet of paracord. Got about 100 feet of guy line or smaller gauge line in general. Uh, extra Ziploc baggie. This is a 4 ounce squeeze bottle I use for my fuel. And if I can do this one handed, which I can't. This is a, the bottom of a old baby bottle that we no longer need. And I can use that to measure exactly how much fuel I need. And it, as you saw, fits right on the bottom of that. So it stays together and I always, I'll always i just keep this on the outside of my pack somewhere. Uh, over here, we got sunscreen, chapstick, bug spray, and that is a bottle of Gold Bond Body Lotion. Over here, we got the toiletries. Compressed toilet paper and Charmin to go wet wipes. If you've never used these in the trail, get them. Just get these, trust me. Way better. So we got that. Next up, uh, let's go with some electronics. Let's uh, let's see what I got for that. All right, here we go. Now this is the camera I'm actually filming with. This is the Fujifilm. XP55, waterproof up to 16 feet, shockproof 5, down, freeze it down to 14 degrees, and it's dustproof. I saved the box because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, film what camera you are using with the uh, same camera. Let's uh, move on to the other camera. This is my GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition. I am a fan. This just adds a lot. Great action camera. Super durable. You can do almost anything with it. And I'm going to start risking the GoPro for just for some uh, cool shots. Uh, I'm definitely one of those people that will risk it. It's an expensive camera, but uh, hell, I have fun making these films, so risk the GoPro. New series coming up soon. Boom, boom. Let's uh, move down here to my watch. This is a... Uh, it's a, made by Casio. It's a altimeter, barometer, uh, you know, all different world times and everything. But the uh, the altimeter is what really got me with this watch, it, uh, especially with the uh, on a map. If I can tell, you know, my elevation, especially through the mountains, I can really pinpoint to where I am. That uh, that helps me a lot of uh, with navigation and just kind of getting a bearing of where I am. So got the watch. And obviously, and everything you're going to see here is waterproof. So we'll move over here to the cell phone. This is a G's One Commando by Verizon. Um, waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, freezeproof, all that good stuff. This is generation number two. This phone is fantastic. And that is actually linked up with this. This is the Delorum SE. No, Delorum InReach SE. This is uh, basically a two-way communication device. It works anywhere in the world with a clear shot of the sky. It's got the SOS button, which I will not hit because this thing is activated. So if I hit that button, I'll probably get a chopper at my house in any minute. So it's got the emergency distress button, two-way communication, so I can contact anybody back home, which is going to open up the whole world of hiking for me. Now I can, I don't even really have to plan my hikes. 
I can just go hit a trailhead and go off wherever I want. Any trail I want to do, I oh, feel like going left, let's go left, let's go right, doesn't matter. This is going to be great, and it's a great piece of safety gear. If I run into any trouble, I can get help really quick. And that's uh, paired with the smartphone. And let's move on to batteries. I have two extra batteries for the GoPro, as you see right here. And I actually carry five extra batteries for the camera I'm using now because I do a lot of uh, still shots and I like to walk by my camera just for fun. So we got plenty of extra batteries for this camera I'm using now. And right here, we have an extra cell phone battery. Just in case, doesn't hurt to have an extra cell phone battery, especially seeing that it's kind of part of my emergency equipment. If I run into trouble, I, this thing better work. So if the battery's dead in this, I got an extra one just in case. This lasts for about three days, turned on in tracking mode. If you turn it off, obviously it's going to last a lot longer. So these electronics, good to go. So let's move on to the last bit of gear. Not too much left. So I hope I'm not boring you guys too much. We'll move on. All right, here's a couple. Of... All right, here's a few of the things that I'll use to uh, actually film this. This I've had, this is a tripod, it's got, you know, the flexible legs, you can wrap it around tree branches or whatever you want, on you know, uneven ground, you can adjust the legs, so that's my tripod I use for the camera, works great. This is the, uh, the head strap for the GoPro, so I can just put it on my head and basically give you a POV of whatever I'm hiking with the uh, GoPro. These are two... Uh, 10 inch reusable zip ties. You can use it for anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, filming, but that's pretty much what I'm going to be using them for. So, throw that aside. Now, this is something new. This is the monopod. It goes from about 10 inches to about 36 inches. It just, you know, telescopes on itself. Just telescopes and can get some better camera shots. So, we got that. And this is just real quick the skeleton back door for the uh, GoPro. So you can actually like hear a little bit better with the GoPro instead of just the solid uh, hard case. So let's see what else is next. Kind of another uh, pile of random stuff. Start over here. This is just this is the knife I bring. Really light, really small. Don't need anything bigger than that. Uh, I do like to carry a multi-tool, so I got the uh, Leatherman Squirt. I've had this for a little while now. It's my everyday carry. I, this thing is fantastic, so it's got everything I need in there. Uh, thermometer, whistle, uh, compass I would never rely on. It's got like a little mirror in here and a little magnifying glass. Like I said, the thermometer. And it used to have like a little LED light that doesn't work anymore because I've had this since I started hiking. So I got that. It's pretty much just for the th uh, thermometer and the whistle is really all I use it for. But, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, then this is my actual compass that I will I will use. Enough said. Carabina. Super lightweight, made by Black Diamond. Usually use this to tie up my bear bag, make it a little easier to grab. You know, if I need to just grab something out of it and rehaul it back up in the tree. Carabina. These are... Uh, Little the uh, little sandwich baggy ties. I got you know probably like ten of them in there. Use these for uh, clothes lines. Hang out my stuff. Let them dry. Uh, for tent stakes, I will be adding a couple more tent stakes to this. Maybe either two or four more. Uh, that's gonna you know that, that'll come later on. I need to uh, practice a little bit more with the uh, with my tarp, my uh, Cuban fiber tarp that I have. So. We'll work on that. Ten stakes. I mean, yeah. Ten stakes. Boom. And uh, that's pretty much it. For everything I just showed you, including the camera gear, everything you just saw, the uh, total weight. Hold on. Didn't see everything. Total weight of everything, including what you're about to see, which is two more pieces of uh, gear, is uh, it was 15 and a half pounds. Phenomenal. Happy with that. The other two pieces of gear is my my down jacket hoodless and what I did here to kind of pretty much made its own stuff sack what I did is I just kind of reversed itself into one of the pockets 
so it you know made its own compression uh, own uh, stuff sack for it out of that and here's my uh, uh, mountain hardware windproof waterproof hard shell this is the outer piece for me love this thing to death I've had it for a long time it's super durable not the lightest thing in the world but you know what this thing is uh, definitely an A plus and I did the same thing I just reversed itself into one of the pockets and I was actually able to zip this one up because it's got the uh, little cord there I'm actually gonna put a little you know, a little string a little cord right there so I can actually pull it and zip it shut so those are the last two pieces of gear I'm going to show you guys. I hope I didn't bore you too much. That's uh, the ultralight setup as far as right now. I mean, there's not going to be a lot to change. But maybe there will be. But until the next time, guys, take care. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in.